And uh, just looking uh, through the team, uh, quite a few successes really. You, you'd have to say uh, the new players that have been brought in. Darren Mullins having a really outstanding start to the season, and also um, you know Tom uh, Tom Paranello and. and um, Mike Tamlin, great to see Mike Tamlin, local lad, uh, breaking through and and, uh, and looks like he might be a regular starter. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously Mullings has been the standout player this season for so far, scoring three goals and working really, really hard in, in, in the middle of the pitch. Um, Tamlin, being a local lad, coming back from Loughborough University, getting his opportunity you know, and taking it with both hands, scoring against Redditch, and and Paranello, I think we were a bit worried um, when. Well, across the city, uh, kicked off here. Um, and the ball's falling to uh, Darren Mullins in, in uh, central midfield in, inside the eastward half. Uh, Ollie Clark starting on the left wing, uh, plays the ball through to Mike Simons and it's a uh, throw into eastward coming up to take the corner. Lots of vocal Gloucester City support behind the goal there. Uh, we've got Simons, Mullins and Richards on the edge of the area. Looks like they're going to be the runners and uh, Morford just standing on the keeper. With about four East with defenders around him. Paranello whips it in. It's come to Simons who finds finds a ball with his head, but it's uh, gone out for a goal. It's chance to attack, but the ball's cleared. Uh, and the referee's blown for a free kick uh, as Morford was just brought down there uh, as he was trying to attack. Mullins is uh, standing on the ball. Mullins plays it wide to Paranello on the left wing. Paranello feeding it into the box, looking for Simons. Simons chests it down, knocks it back out. Mullins has a shot and it's uh, gone out for a goal kick. So Tom Paranello looking to take the free kick from the left wing. About 30 yards out, sends it into the box. Oh, met by the head of Mullins. Uh, and clear by Eastwood. Finds a head of Paranello. You can only come. And it's a uh, free kick. Looks like... Uh, Maybe Darren Mullins just penalised for a little bit of uh, tugging there. It's a handball, I think. The handball, I think, might have been might have been the, the decision there. I'm not not 100% certain. It's difficult to see from the angle. And the ball was played in there from the free kick. Uh, found ahead of Stevenson, but he just couldn't get enough on it, and it's uh, it's gone harmlessly wide. With Stevenson, who's looking for an out ball. Finds Simpson, plays it forward, and Mullins intercepts and clears along up the pitch. And that's going to be an Eastwood throw. Matt Rose just winning the ball in the middle of the park. Bit of a scrap going on there in the centre. And the ball's played through, and um, that was Tom Hamblin uh, who went in late on uh, number eight, uh, Stevenson, I think that is, or is, I think it's Stevenson who's just a bit of a, a mistimed challenge there, Pennant. Yeah, Stevenson got in front of Hamblin. Hamblin, desperate lunge, and just clipped the back of his ankles, and it was a definite free kick, no arguments there. Uh, lucky to got away without a booking. Yeah, I think so because the guy would have been clean through had he had he not made the. Tackle. I mean, the word defenders tracking, but lucky not to get a book. Lucky not to get a booking there. So uh, the free kicks uh, about 25 yards out, and it's uh, number 10 Huron who tries to get it up and over the wall, but it's gone harmlessly over. Duncan knocks it forward, it's with Hurren, who's in the centre of the park just outside the city area, and it's intercepted by Clark, so it's another corner, Simmons and Morford right on the goal line, Panello floats it in and it's cleared again, uh, almost fouls Mike Green, plays it forward again to Panello, who gets the cross in, met by the head of Simons, who couldn't quite manage to uh, do anything, and the ball has come all the way down the other end of the pitch, to Hamlin, who heads it back to uh, Sawyer. Pitch to Morford. Real end to end stuff so far, really. Mullins puts the ball in. Finds Clark. Now it's with Hamlin in the centre of the field. He's playing it to the left wing to Paranello. And Paranello fires in a deep cross, which is gathered by the Eastwood keeper. Tamlin finds Morford. Back to Tamlin, knocks it back to Green. Feeds the ball into the box. And again, finds the uh, Eastwood goalkeeper. And it's back with Eastwood. And Eastwood just hovering outside the Gloucester City area here. Gloucester City trying to clear it. And finally managed to get it to Paranello as uh, Eastwood looking to try and get a shot off there. Absolutely, they, um, they look like they play the ball around well. They have a you know, nice, tidy footballing side. Um, but no real effort on goal yet from either side. Eastwood now attacking 
with Stevenson on the left wing again. It's been right at the heart of things for Eastwood. It's back to Riley, who plays it into the box. And it's been cleared for a corner by Barnes. The ball was played right into, into the six yard area to Muller. Um, he had his back to goal and Barnes just managed to get in there and, and have his first piece of action for the game, a crucial one. Yeah, he saw the goal gave him towards him, just about to turn and fire on target and Barnes just got his big foot in to uh, clear ball for a corner. Fantastic defending by the uh, cross the city centre back there, of course, new, uh, and newly onto the pitch. So it's a corner for Eastwood um, and it's uh, met by the attacking Eastwood player and it's gone over and it's going to be a goal. He wins the flick on, Morford gathers. And Morford's going to try and find Clark on the left wing. Clark's uh, come inside, and now he's found Paranello who fires the ball in, and it's going to be a corner to Gloucester City. Um, well, I mean, what more can you say than it's, uh, if nothing else, it's end to end? Yeah, it's end to end. I mean, it's not been a boring game by by any stretch of the imagination, but it has been a bit of a wrestle. You know, no, 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 a bit of a wrestle. No teams taking real control, but it has been an entertaining flowing game. So that's for sure. Uh, Paranello plays the ball just outside the edge of the box and Darren Mullins! And it's a goal! Gloucester City are winning up! Fantastic goal from Darren Mullins there! What a fantastic strike by Darren Mullins! Strikes, hits the underside of the bar, bounces, bounces over the line! What a fantastic finish! Fifth goal of the season for Darren Mullins! What a fantastic strike that was! Been an absolutely superb signing there. Uh, obviously, um, I mean, didn't. You know, the, the, the noise from the Western fans was that they didn't seem they didn't think that they were going to miss him too much. But um, uh, judging by his form this season, um, you, you and well they were uh, managed to finish so well last season as Mike Green fires a shot away and uh, with his left foot and he's just gone over the bar. Eastwood on the attack, uh, they've managed to get inside the Gloucester City area. It's found Stevenson couldn't control the balls cleared by Green uh, right up the pitch. It was a dangerous cross in a dangerous area and uh, Eastwood uh, looked like they're threatening and looked like. Uh, they're not going to roll down. No, well, certainly not. I mean, but, I mean, I spoke to um, a couple of their officials. He said that they've been unlucky in losing in um, in, 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 in a few games. In, in a few games that they've lost this season, and they've you know they've, they've certainly shown that in, in great attacking endeavour. Stevenson's really been uh, at the heart of everything. Uh, everything they've done really looked like uh, a dangerous player, and uh, the uh, north of uh, 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 trying to lob the keeper from just outside the area. I don't think the keeper was expecting it, but it's uh, it's just gone uh, it's narrowly over. From from the angle I was at, it looked like it was dropping in for a second, but just just dipped over the bar. Great effort and great great vision there by Morris. Back to goal, looking for a corner, but can only manage to throw in. Um, let's hope for uh, Gloucester City can add to this. It's one of the it really does look like it, it could still go all the way. Yeah, it does really. I mean, but both teams are, are in the game, both teams are working hard. Um, Eastwood have more for two, and there's a shot, and it looks like it's tipped over by the um, Eastwood goalkeeper. It's a great ball fed through uh, by, uh, I think it was Tamlin to Morford. He did a very clever turn and got a shot around his right foot, um, and uh, more fingertips over by the Eastwood keeper. Yeah, Morford has certainly looked more on the ball today than. Uh, more on the ball today than he has in, in, in previous weeks. If it, no pun intended. If you can excuse the pun there, he certainly looked more lively and has had a great couple of opportunities, obviously forcing a, forcing a save from the Eastwood goalkeeper there. Corner from Paranello, the flick on, and it's going to be cleared by Eastwood Clarks. Also Tussin, the ball's been played in and, and Green intercepts, but the ball's deflected. Steven and it's a goal. And uh, it's, it's one on now. Um, Mike Green tried to clear the ball, uh, it was under a bit of pressure. The ball deflected off the usual player, it came through to Stevenson, um, who knocked it into the middle, uh, and, and it's uh, it's one all. Yeah, and one can't, one can't argue that they deserve that goal. They've been putting the pressure on for the last 10 minutes, had a few chances on goal. The goal came from, obviously, um, a, a hesitant clearance from, 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 from Green there. The player found himself for, Three hundred there and just put it across goal. A great, great finish and uh, one off. It's, um, it, 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 it's like uh, Kev Sawyer gathers the corner and the referee blows for half time. And so half time here from uh, Carnation Park. It's Eastwood Town one, Gloucester City one.